Hello ladies and gentlemen, Teveron here and welcome back to Skyrim where we are about to attempt to perform a Moth Priest ritual in the Ancestor Glade. We do need to find a Moth Priest knife, but... Oh, so there's supposed to be a knife inside the Ancestor Glade? Alright. Expected it to be in a place that was separate. Okay, this looks like a rough go, but we're fairly close to where we need to be. Also close to a dragon wall. And I guess we found it. Did not expect the Ancestor Glade to be inside a cave. Will we face enemies? Probably Spriggans, if nothing else. Looks like a Spriggan habitat. Hmm. Not very impressive, is it? I mean, it's it's okay. Not Blackreach, that's for sure. But not everything has to be so massive and impressive. Hopefully we do find the knife in here. Maybe we're not going to face any hostile beings. Um... You were saying, Serana? I find this to be quite impressive. Wow. Uh-huh. Look at this place. No one's been here in centuries. I doubt there's any other place like it in Skyrim. It's beautiful. Changed your mind, did you? Thought you might have. It's a beautiful tree there. Is that the one we have to strip the bark from? Guess the knife is in this stone sculpture. A drawing knife. Okay. Well, this is one. So let's use it. Hope the moths like that bark as much as Dexian said they would. Okay. Attract moth swarms. How do we do that? Do I just use the bark? Canticle bark? Cannot equip this item. Use? Um. Uh, do I just wander around? Look at them. They've definitely taken a liking oh, to you. Okay. And unless I'm seeing things, you're starting to... Am I? So I guess I just wander around and attract... Moths. Definitely a glow. Enter the column of light. I'm in the right place. Okay, and read blood. Well, I'm not being blinded. Please be careful. 
don't want to wear bandages on my eyes like our friend. Okay. Speak to Serana, not read the next one. Where are you? Oh, you're coming. I will meet you halfway. Are you okay? Almost thought I lost you there. Yeah, I'm okay. You went as white as the snow. Very hard to do, considering I'm an Argonian, but I'll take your word for it. I'm fine. I never trusted those damn scrolls. Who knows what those things could have done to you? Just look at Dexian. What about Ariel's bow? Do you know where we can find it? Uh, in a place called Darkfall Cave. Apparently I do. Then it's almost over. We can finally rewrite the prophecy as we see fit. Where is this Darkfall Cave? Well, apparently I know, so... Then let's get going. I want to get there before my father has a chance to track us down. Can I read more Elder Scrolls? Wait, what do you know about Ariel's bow? Not much. If you read any history, it shows up from time to time, but it's a hard thing to track. As far as I know, though, it's never been held by a vampire. That would be a new one. Um, we have enemies. Where'd you come from? Oh! Is this Dawn Guard? They have trolls with them again. Yeah, it surely is Dawn Guard. Why are the trolls aligned with the Dawn Guard? I don't understand. We'll take care of them, whatever their motivation, though. You must die. Uh, why did you say that like a zombie? We were having a conversation before we were so rudely interrupted. Uh, oh, what is it? Not much. As far as I know, though, it's never been held by a vampire. Yeah, what does it have that to do with the sun? Ariel is one of the elven gods. He's with the rest of them in Aetherius. The way I've heard it, the sun represents the connection from our world to theirs. Supposedly, the bow draws its energy from the sun itself, which is why it shows up in that prophecy. And what exactly does it do? That part, I don't know. Once we have it, hopefully it'll be obvious. Okay. Well, uh, that'll do for now. That column of light's still there. Can I go back down into that and actually read another Elder Scroll? Let's save. Okay, I'm in the column of light. I'm not sure if I... I don't think I still glow. Maybe I need to do more bark. Don't know if it'll let me. Can I? I bet I can't, but I'm going to try anyway. Let's try dragon. Nope. Didn't work. Very well. Uh, we will go in the path that we have been directed upon then. Very beautiful when the fog's not obscuring everything, isn't it? But we do not have time to stand and admire the view. We have work to accomplish. Okay, so Darkfall Cave is close to the Orc Fort, where we collected Orc blood. How fitting. 
I'm just up this hill, it seems. Or maybe over this hill. Or maybe up that hill. Okay, never mind. No, there it is. Darkfall Cave. Without the marker there, it's hard to tell that it's even a cave. Everybody made it? Good. Let's go to bow. Kind of fitting that we be using our bow while hunting a bow, right? What is over there? Is that the way back out? I certainly don't think we can get... Well, I mean, we could whirlwind sprint over there. Let's look at our map here. Yeah, I feel like that's going to... Oh, it goes to the same place. So, no use to whirlwind sprint over there. That's fine. We're going to get to the other side. Either way, if it didn't curve around here, we could have done that. Ooh, Spider, I almost didn't see you. You're blending in rather well. So we can go down to that bridge or we can see what's in the spider's den. Okay, there's a door, so maybe that's the shortcut back out. Are spiders all we're going to be fighting in here? If it is, that should be easy. Oh my god. I could potentially jump down into that. And maybe I have to. Did you hear something? Just your voice, is this... Moonstone ore. Uh, yes, please. Is Serana mining too? <laughs> she is, that's cool. Uh, yes, I'll take more Moonstone ore. I don't think she actually gets the ore. I, I think she just interacts with whatever interactable objects are near her to make her look more realistic. Any more moonstone we can harvest around here? Is this a vein? It's not. Okay, it is indeed looking like we need to jump into the water. Just in case I'm wrong, though. See, that's... Oh! Yeah, okay, no need to jump. Game puts us there no matter what. And, um, hello, spiders. Can we shoot you while we're in there? No, we cannot. Good to know you're going to be here as soon as we come out, so. <laughs> oh, there you are. Gosh, it's hard to see. Well, uh, it's a lesson they learned in a very hard manner and one they'll never get to apply to the rest of their lives but yes it taught them sufficiently I believe oh yeah, this place just full of spiders who's there? that'll teach you Can who's we, there there's one over there there it is I knew I heard something that'll teach you oh I knew oh I you wrote you raised that spider That'll teach you. Sometimes it doesn't process in my mind fast enough that Serana's raised things are hers. I want to just attack them. It's a big old spooter over there. Yep, giant frostbite spider. One sneak attack arrow, not enough for that one. Were you guarding something over here, giant frostbite spider? You were. Uh huh. Couple gold pieces on a skeleton. Oh, can I not search the chest? It's just a skeleton. Oh, 
There, pixel hunt. I found the chest. Um, sure. Let's take everything. Your pets are very creepy, Serana. Guess it won't hurt us if we jump down into the water again. I don't think we can get in under this. Nope. So we just have to go around the winding way. I'm assuming that river comes out further on down here, but it may not. How close are we getting to our objective? Ah, uh, so-so. Coming up on it fairly shortly. Ooh. Something collapsed up there. Got a campsite with dead bodies in it. These people were... Why would anyone want to set up camp here? Not sure. Yeah, spiders happened to them, I would guess. Darkfall Cave Note? What's that all about? Sister, I know you'll come to find me, but it will be too late. If you find this letter, get out of this forsaken cave as soon as possible. We were fools to think we could live so close to such creatures and live peacefully. I should have headed back to camp with you after we placed the torches down here. I thought these trolls would be different, that they would somehow understand that we didn't want to hurt them. I am now cornered, and it's only a matter of time before one of the trolls decides to finish me off. I hope it's a quick death. Farewell, my dear sister. So, it is... Not spiders. How unfortunate for you that you're not a member of the Dawn Guard. They seem to get on with trolls rather well for whatever reason. You must be alchemy practicers. You've got... Oop, I didn't mean to pick up that troll skull. There we go. Get out of my inventory. Take this. Don't need the resistance potions. I'll take all that, though. We could even take ourselves a little nap if we wanted to. Nah. No need. I think behind us is the way back out, probably through that shortcut. And there is a trap. Yeah. Oh, wow. Ah. That didn't work out for us. Ah, so that, that we saw back there wasn't a broken uh, bridge or something. It was the remains of a sprung trap. Well, let's heal ourselves for free. And then we'll press forward. Might ought to throw down a quick save as well. It's been a while since I did that. Don't want to go through going over the waterfall and fighting all the spiders again. And I appear to be stuck on the boulders. Did you get hurt? It's funny how sometimes boulders and things that were in traps, if you just touch them after they're already on the ground, will hurt you for whatever reason or hurt your companions. Which way? Are they both the same? Uh, yeah, they both lead to the same place. Keep your eyes and ears open for trolls, Serana. They're here somewhere. If they're regular trolls, they shouldn't be too much of an issue. Stay on your guard. I agree. Oh, there they are. They do look like regular trolls, and they're not armored, I don't think. Nope, not armored. There we go. Slick as you please. Will you hold still for a second, Trolly? You will? Can we... Oh, you're coming down to play, are you? And I think you died in a very awkward position. Don't see any others. That doesn't mean they're not here. Although I don't know that a few trolls would be that big 
a threat to us if we could respond quickly enough. Just troll fat? Yeah, just troll fat. Not interested. Is this part of the companions that you slaughtered back there? There were two bed rolls. Ah, excellent. Take all of that. I'm going to have to manage my inventory soon. I'm almost full, and I think I've got some stuff on Serana as well. So the bow should be over here. What is this bow doing in this cave? Seems like a weird place for it to be. Well, I don't know if this person is hostile or not. Looks like we may need to talk to them. Is that part of the quest? Maybe? Is is this someone trying to complete the ritual? Come forward. You have nothing to fear here. Uh, there were trolls back there. Were you unaware? Are you just oblivious? Knight Paladin Gelibor. Hello? I am Knight Paladin Gelibor. Welcome to the Great Chantry of Oriel. This cave is a temple? Oriel, Oriel, Halkosh, Akatosh, so many different names for the Sovereign of the Snow Elves. Snow Elves? You're a farmer? You're a Snow Elf that didn't turn into a farmer? I prefer Snow Elf. The name Farmer usually holds a negative meaning to most travelers. Those twisted creatures you call Farmer, I call the Betrayed. Oh! I imagine you know why we're here, then. Of course. You're here for Oriel's bow. Why else would you be here? I can help you get it, but first, I must have your assistance. Why would you help us get it? That's my question. Um, I assume he knows because that's pretty much the only reason someone would come here, but let's ask. For the thousands of years I've served as the Chantry's Sentinel, there hasn't been a single visitor here for any other reason. They request Oriel's bow, and I request their assistance. It's been repeated so many times, I can't imagine it any other way. So, do they end up not lending you assistance, or do you, they end up getting killed providing the assistance? Why is the bow still here, or does it spawn a new... Each time, like, when someone gets it, do they take it out, and then when they lose it, or they die, or whatever, it comes back? I need you to kill Archcurate Vertha, my brother. Why do you want us to kill your brother? Is he a farmer? The kinship between us is gone. I don't understand what he's become, but he's no longer the brother I once knew. It was the betrayed. They did something to him. I just don't know why Oriel would allow this to happen. So what exactly did the Betrayed do to him? They swept into the Chantry without warning and began killing everyone without pause. I'm assuming they did fight back. It's just they were probably overwhelmed or maybe they swear an oath to be pacifists. The Chantry was a place of peaceful worship. I led a small group of paladins but we were no match for the Betrayed's sheer numbers. They slaughtered everyone and stormed the inner sanctum where I believe they corrupted Vertha. So you don't even know if he's still alive? He's alive. I've seen him, but something's wrong. He never looks as though he's in pain or under duress. He just stands there and watches, as though waiting. Okay, um... Maybe he's brain damaged? Have you ever tried getting into the inner sanctum? Leaving the way shrines unguarded would be violating my sacred duty as a knight paladin of Oriel, and an assault on the betrayed guarding the inner sanctum would only end with my death. Okay, so I guess this sunburst thing is a way shrine? Yes, let me show you. Hmm, please do. There's one here, one on top of that dome. Or is the dome the way shrine? So 
So this is snow elf magic. Incredible. This hmm. structure is known as a way shrine. They were used for meditation and for transport when the Chantry was a place of enlightenment. Prelates of these shrines were charged with teaching the mantras of Oriel to our initiates. What's that basin in the center signify? Once the initiate completed his mantras, he'd dip a ceremonial ewer in the basin of the way shrine's center and proceed to the next way shrine. So these initiates had to lug around a heavy pitcher of water. Marvelous. How long would they have to do that? Well, once the initiate's enlightenment was complete, he'd bring the ewer to the Chantry's inner sanctum. Pouring the contents of the ewer into the sacred basin of the sanctum would allow him to enter for an audience with the arch curate himself. All that just to end up dumping it out? It makes no sense to me. It's symbolic. I don't expect you to understand. So, let's get this straight. We need to do all that nonsense to get into the temples so we can kill your brother and claim Ariel's bow? I know how it all sounds. But if there was another way, I'd have done it long ago. The only way to get to my brother is by following in the Initiate's footsteps and traveling from Way Shrine to Way Shrine, just as they did. The first lay at the end of Darkfall Passage, a cavern that represents the absence of enlightenment. Okay, how many Way Shrines are there? Please don't say there's like 50. There are five in total, spread far apart across the Chantry. Please don't let it be that far. <laughs> the dungeons in this expansion are massive. I hope this one is not continuing in that pattern. Caves? Oh no. The Chantry encompasses far more than a few caves, as you'll soon discover. But before I send you on your way, you'll need the Initiate's Ewer. So I need to fill this at each way shrine. Once you've located a way shrine, there'll be a spectral prelate tending to it. They will allow you to draw the waters from the Shrine's Basin, as if you've been enlightened. What will make them allow me to do that? You gonna give me a note or something? Guess I'm off. This may be the last time we're able to converse. If you have any questions before you leave, I suggest you ask them. Otherwise, all I can do now is grant you my hopes for a safe journey. Alrighty. Um. Well, uh. Don't really see anything else here worth investigating. So, uh. Questions? I expected as much. Oh, we can actually ask you questions? I guess we can. Yeah, who actually were your people? Are you the last actual snow elf? We were once a wealthy and prosperous society that occupied a portion of Skyrim. Unfortunately, we were constantly at war with the Nords, who claimed the land as their ancestral home. So the Nords drove you out? In a manner of speaking. We had always maintained an uneasy alliance with the underground dwelling dwarves. And when faced with extinction, we turned to them for help. Surprisingly, they agreed to protect us, but demanded a terrible price. The blinding of our race. That's horrible. So everyone couldn't possibly have agreed. There were splinter groups that resisted the agreement, and even some that sought alternate alliances. But when it was all said and done, those elves were either slaughtered, vanished, or gave up and took the dwarves' bargain. So what turned your people into the betrayed? I've often asked myself that very same question. The blinding of my race was supposedly accomplished with a toxin. Certainly not enough to devolve them into the sad and twisted beings they've become. Why did they want you to be blinded? That seems so cruel and horrible. Okay, um... Why weren't the Snow Elves here affected? The Chanter is quite isolated. So it took some time for word of the Dwarves' offer to reach us here. By the time the compact had been completed, it was too late for us to even attempt to intervene. And that's why you still have your sight? Correct. We only numbered perhaps a hundred at the time, so our presence remained a secret to the Dwarves and the Nords. Ironically, our undoing came at the hands of our own people. 
Yeah, the, the betrayed, you mean? Yes. They swarmed the Chantry in vast numbers until we were completely overrun. We never really stood a chance. What made them come I here? that the Archcurate was corrupted by them when they found a way to breach the Inner Sanctum. So, are there any others here like you, or are you the last of your kind? Vertha and myself are the only two Snow Elves that remain. I'm very sorry. That's incredibly sad. Uh, what is the Chantry of Ariel? This is... or was... The epicenter of our religion. Most of the Snow Elf people worshipped Oriel. The Chantry was constructed near the beginning of the First Era to provide a retreat for those that wished to become enlightened. Most Snow Elves? Our Empire had temples to some of the other deities. Trinimac, Cirebane, Yefrey, and Finister rounded out the rest. But those temples paled in comparison to the glory of the Chantry and its way shrines. So the Way Shrines are part of the Chantry itself, then? Oh, yes. They were an important part of the process here. They represented the steps the Initiates took on the path to total enlightenment. Sadly, the magic used to construct these wonders were lost long before I arrived here. Okay. Um, who are the Spectral Prelates you mentioned? I, I imagine there are Snow Elves who were clerics in the service to Ariel, who are now serving her after death. They're ghosts of the Snow Elf priests that tended the Way Shrines before being slaughtered by the betrayed. Through the grace of Ariel, they were restored to their spectral form to enable them to continue their duties. All right. I certainly hope they'll be able and willing to help us. I'm afraid in their current form, they still believe the Chantry to be an active center of worship. That's even more sad. They won't respond to you in any way other than believing that you're an initiate and you're undertaking the journey to the Inner Sanctum. So what convinces them of that, I wonder? Guess it's not going to let us ask. May Oriel light your path. The way he talked about it, I'm guessing that anyone who goes on this Questions. path, they would assume I expected as much. was the... Uh, was an initiate on the path to enlightenment. Well, let's head on in. That wasn't as unpleasant as I thought it would be. I mean... Kind of soothing, actually. I feel a little warmer now. Yeah, wasn't unpleasant at all, honestly. Oh, that is neat. It just... Those are very reminiscent of undersea things that you would see sometimes. Very neat. I like that these expansions are at least showing us new things. Or at least new to me. They may be in the base game and I just never encountered them. Any more Charises? How did they get in here? Oh, And there's Falmer. Of course there are. Because they took your brother, didn't they? Anything in the water? No. Nope. I knew I heard something. Hello. Oh, two this time. Well, she was kind of blocking my path up the ramp. That'll teach you. Again, hopefully this will not be quite as long as the previous dungeons have been. Where'd you come from? It gets tedious after a while. Guys, finish that Charis off, please. Ooh, there's another one. Guess this is Charis Cave Central. At least they're not nearly as scary in our current state, so that is a boon. Ten or so levels below this, though, Charises can absolutely murder you. 
I suppose they probably could in even at our level, though it would take a few more of them. Do these both lead to the same area? Just divergent paths? Maybe not. Oh no, they do. They link back up up here. Who's there? Just your friendly neighborhood farmer that I can't seem to get sneak attacks on with my bow for whatever reason, even though they don't detect me anymore. Is there a trap? Guess something sprung it back there. Standard farmer construction. Yep, we are coming into an entire Falmer village, it looks like. Let's... Looks like these Falmer are here to stay. Yep, it does they indeed. Who that priest was calling the there we go. Oh, <sighs> turned before you got there. Who's there? It often amazes me how creatures dodge arrows when they don't actually see us. We getting shot at? Thought I saw some arrows fly over our heads. Oh, there you are. Oh yeah, our 30% faster bow draw is really nice. Can pump out a whole lot more DPS that way. Even as scary as they are, the flying charises aren't as done and done. aren't as lethal as their ground-bound brethren. It feels like ebony dagger. Nah, we'll take everything else though. Chitin. Just leave the charis chitin lying there. Farmer Warax, no thank you. Ooh. Where'd you come from? You guys deal with that. What is So there we can explore up through here and there's two passages down here. Here's where we entered. It's not actually showing us where our destination is, which is interesting. No. Well, something has detected us up here. I don't know what it is. Is this an entirely different area or are we just looping back? What are you aggroing on? Oh, I don't know how it detected us through walls and everything, but sure. Is that your skeleton, Serana? Got a regular wooden chest sitting out here in the middle of these gleam blossoms. Oh, there's a trap on it. A very simple trap. Oh, well, guess we got a gleam blossom. Uh, sure. Just continue to take all this stuff. Not at all sure which way to go. Off to our right. There's a path up here as well. Guess it's just exploration in this area since we don't actually have any markers directing our paths. Guess we need, do need to go up here on this sort of bridge. a quick save. Would hate to have to go through 
parts of this cave again. Is this like a shrine? It's a former idol of some sort? What's it represent? That's really weird. Ooh. I knew I heard something. How do you guys even get up in those things you drop out of? Guess those are handholds that are below it. You leap up and grab on and climb the rest of the way. Where's the one? Oh, you Who's circled there? around. You tricksy little guy. Nice. Oh. Goodbye, skeleton friend. This is just beautiful. A light in the darkness, as it were. I'm hoping this is the right direction. I have no earthly idea whether it is or not. And all these farmer areas look so similar that it's hard to know whether we're entering new areas or if it's the same thing over again, at least until more farmer oh, appears. Shadow Master. I think that might be the first one of those we've seen. At least the first one I remember having seen. Oh, gonna hit Serana. Of course we are. Well, he's not too awfully... Bad. Got a ton of hit points compared to the other Falmer, though. You guys take care of that Charis. I want to see what this guy has on him. Um, well, just like some this. gold. Oh, there's two over there. I guess I should help you then. Serana, you are an unusually good tank for a magic user. No chests or anything in the Charis pin. That's nice. Would seem like a really weird place to have one. Big Falmer chest. Glass gauntlets. Sure. If we keep finding glass stuff, we'll eventually be able to improve a set of glass armor for Serana. Of course, I don't know long how long we'll keep her as a companion. She is very entertaining, but she might get old after a while. Um, I had assumed we'd keep Mjol for longer than we did, but... I will say that Serana is less annoying than the melee companions that we've had. She doesn't tend to charge in and get in the way of our arrows quite as much, so maybe that's a plus. Let's just go back. Uh, yeah, just two alternate ways to the same destination. I'm assuming this is also. Oh, ooh. Well, uh, I didn't see that trap and almost paid the price for it. Always willing to take an hour rest so we don't have to use up potions. Here's something coming out. Oh. Where'd you come well. from? Come on. Get wrecked. I really, really like this faster bow draw. That is awesome. Feel almost like a machine gun. Who's there? Excellent. Oh, there's another. Oh, you raised that one. Again, your your resurrections confuse the hell out of me sometimes. Oh, more evidence of Falmer using alchemy. Guess this is just a dead end over here. And I had assumed that since they had lost their minds or whatever that they wouldn't have the capabilities to do that. But I guess they use magic also. I guess in my mind, their use of magic was more an emotional thing, you know, like shamanism, whatever. Why did that trigger? It showed the, the trigger there is already being tripped. 
Oh, well, whatever. We didn't die to it, so no huge deal. Though that does make me want to quick save again. Never gets old. Those flowers retreating into their tubes. Thought I saw something up there. Maybe that was a graphical glitch? Okay. Or maybe I just imagined it. And we're still not to the next way shrine yet, so this... Be careful here. Whatever's on the other side of this, the Falmer wanted to keep it there. Or oh, are these pull chains? Rope release. Um. Let's save. But yeah, uh, that doesn't bode well for the length of this dungeon, I think. Probably going to be just as long as the previous ones. Um. What are you? Some kind of cat? Veil Saber Cat. Yes. Teach you. Guess it's just another variety of Saber Cat. What does this one do? Oh. Guess that's to kill the Saber Cat. Well, we didn't make use of it. What are you? What have you got on you? One of our arrows. Never had a Vel Saber Cat hide, so sure, let's go ahead and take it. Getting very close to being overburdened now, so we need to be careful. Probably should unload some stuff to our companions. Alright, that should be at least a little bit better. Ooh. Getting into the regions of areas that look sort of like Blackreach now. And I, this is the kind of thing I've been wanting to see. It makes everything else worth it. It's very nice, I will grant you that, but I think I see one of our prelates over there. I think that's the first of our shrines that we're coming to. I wonder if the five shrines that he said there were in total includes the very first one we went into, or if it's five after that, so six in total. Can we... I think we can repel our way down here. Don't think that's a big enough fall to kill us, but if there's hostile things at the bottom of it, it may well do. Oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, another saber cat. Might as well. One arrow that time. Awesome. Saber cat's all that's in this area? Is it the prelate that sees us? Don't have any battle music going, so I'm guessing so. Here we go. Yes, it is. Nope. It is five, not including the very first one we went into. Alrighty. Welcome, Initiate. This is the Way Shrine of Illumination. Are you prepared to honor the mantras of Ariel? And fill your vessel with his enlightenment? Uh, sure. Whatever you say, dude. Then behold Ariel's gift, my child. May it light your path as you seek tranquility within the inner sanctum. Wonder if the enlightenment itself will give us any kind of a perk at the end. That would be cool. Thank you, your priestliness, for your assistance. I don't actually see any water from the basin, but I'm assuming it's there. Looks empty to me. Whatever, though. Uh, onward and inward. Where'd you oh! Come from? What are you doing here immediately, Saber Cat? Did you come through with us? That's weird. We've got lots of indicators now. So, in this one, we just need to fill the ewers, maybe? 
Maybe there's three more in this section and then an exit. What does our map say? Not really seeing any markers on the map itself, but there definitely are on our radar. Nice that they're actually indicating where to go now. I like that a lot. Especially if this place turns out to be as massive as some of the other areas in this DLC have been. Wandering aimlessly is not my idea of fun. But speaking of wandering aimlessly, I think it's time that we end this episode and continue in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, leave a like below. It really does help tremendously. And of course, subscribe if you'd like to see more in the future. I have been Tevron, and until next time, friends, be excellent to each other.